Hi, welcome to the National Bowling Academy. My name is Richard Shockley, USBC Goal Level Instructor, and I'm in charge of bowler development for the Bowler Smart Company. Today we want to talk about the wrist device. Pros and cons, I know over the years a lot of us talk about should we or should we not wear a wrist device. A lot of the professional bowlers on both the women's and men's tour, there are a lot of great players that wear a wrist device and that's how they ball. Today I want to showcase Hannah Trisky. She had a problem in the top of her backswing with a broken wrist stayed that way at the bottom of the swing. Then we wanted to go into a training device to show how the firmness of the wrist can, can stay where it's supposed to be and her as a training tool. Hannah decided to not wear a wrist device, but this is just like I said, going to be a training tool. Then we're going to show you how the swing looked after the training tool was used, giving her a much firmer wrist. So let's show you that now. Okay, here we see Hannah at the bottom of the downswing, and as we move the frame, as she gets to the top of the backswing right there, obviously we can see a tremendous amount of wrist break. This puts her hand in a really weak position, and it's more than likely gonna be in that position at the bottom of the swing. So it's a really, really weak, weak position at this point, giving her poor ball reaction. Okay, now we can see Hannah headed into her downswing. Hannah has a wonderful free motion. Now as she's at the top of the swing, using her wrist device has been able to help her get some feel of being firm at the top. It's a really, really good tool. We've done this quite a while. She's starting to get the idea as to what that's supposed to be. So once we've done this, we see better ball reaction. Then we're gonna show you what happened after we take this device off and the final result. Okay, now that we've taken the wrist device off, we're gonna see Hannah again at the top of the swing. And right here, you can dramatically see where her wrist is not as broken. A little bit, but she's really been working hard on this to keep a really, really firm position. And this is gonna give her what we had with the wrist device on. To recap this in the first shot, we can see that Hannah at the top of the backswing, her wrist was really, really broken in a very weak position. Then after we put the wrist device on, it was giving her the feel of keeping it firm. And then in the final result here, we want to see the fact that it's really in a more of a firm position to give her a better ball reaction down. 